In this video, I'm going to show you how to trace the first frog file. Now, this is a fairly complex file, but I do want to make sure that you understand how to go through it. So, as you can see, I already have it open, and the first thing that I want to do is make sure that it fits on the page, because you can see right now it's much larger than the page. I've already shown you how to do this in previous videos, so I'm going to go through this uh, fairly quickly. So, I'm simply going to click on it. First thing I want to do is zoom out. I'm going to click on it with my regular selection arrow and I'm going to click in the corner and I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. So I'm going to drag it down holding shift to make sure that I'm constraining those proportions. Once I have it fit on the page the way that I want, which that looks pretty good right there, I'm going to go to my layers panel. I'm going to click on that, double click on the layer, and I'm simply going to lock it out and dim it to 50%. Again, I've shown you this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go through it again. Next, I'm going to make a new layer so that way I can have one to work on. So now I've got my new layer. A few things that you kind of want to do before you start tracing your files is really think about what a complete shape is going to be and what an empty shape or, or an open shape would be. In this case, the only open shapes or lines that we're going to have in here are going to be the eyelashes as well as the uh, webbing down here in the feet. This is probably the first tracing file that we're working on where uh, the arrangement tool or arranging the objects in front of and behind of each other uh, is really, really going to be important. So I'll show you that as we start to go through. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our colors so that we have zero fill and we have a black stroke. So as you can see, I've got my stroke selected down here. I'm simply going to make that black by clicking on this color right here, or I could double click on it and choose uh, the color black in there. I'm going to go to my fill. I'm going to turn that off right here. So uh, as you can see, the eye, and that's where I'm going to start is the eye. The eye is built of a couple of circles or ovals and then these extra lines that kind of go through here. So I'm going to get my shape tool which I'm going to use the uh, ellipse tool and I'm going to make a circle and so I'm going to kind of click and drag it out about like that. And you can see I'm pretty close then I'm going to drag that corner out so that it kind of matches up. The next one I want to do is going to be this next top one right here. Alright so I'm going to drag that guy to about there. Again then I'm going to click and drag it out so that it fits right about there. Uh, now I want to start doing these uh, eyes. So as you can see, if I start drawing on here, I may end up running into a few issues. So I'm going to click on those two by clicking and dragging around. I'm going to do object and lock, just like I showed you on the other videos. I'm going to lock those selections, those two items that I have. Now I can't accidentally click on those. I'm going to get my pen tool, and I'm simply going to zoom in and reposition that on the screen again by holding the space bar and dragging around. And now I'm going to start right down here. I'm going to go to the center of my curve because that's generally where you want to go. And I'm going to click and drag that out. And that looks pretty good. And so now I'm going to try to follow it all the way around to about there. I'm going to click and drag that guy out to about that point. And I think that looks decent. There's a little bit of a bump there, but we can fix that later. So now I'm going to click and I'm going to break my anchor. And I'm going to go down to about this point right here. And I'm just going to click and drag that a little bit. Now here's the thing. The next part, I'm simply going to go right across. And you're going to see that there's a line going there. But it doesn't really matter because I'm going to put that black uh, fill of the iris directly over it. So I'm going to go over to here and I'm just going to click one time. And now I'm going to click up to that path. I'm going to uh, complete my shape. And you'll see that little circle that pops up there when I do that. I'm just going to click and drag out there just a little bit. All right. So now I want to uh, take that object. I'm going to go ahead and lock that one down as well. The next one I want to do is going to be the uh, black part here. So again, I'm going to get my pen tool. We're just going to start right down here at the bottom. I'm going to click one time. I'm going to go to the center. I'm going to click and drag out. And then I'm going to finish it off by going over to this area right around here. All right, now this one's a little bit more important. We can't really cheat this one quite as much. So I'm going to click and break that shape. I'm going to go about to the center of that circle. And I'm going to click and drag that out so that it fits and matches as well as it can. And then I'm going to try to follow right along there. Going to go to complete that shape. And I'm just going to click and drag that out again. All right. So now you can see that I've got multiple shapes here. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this so that you can see what happens as we start to fill these in. So I'm going to click on Object, Unlock All. I now have each one of those individually. 
So I'm going to click on this first one. I'm going to put a fill in there. I'm going to double click on that fill. I'm going to make it kind of a greenish color. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to click on this next one here. This next one's supposed to be white. So I'm going to double click on that fill. I'm going to choose white. And I'm going to hit OK. The next one is going to be that blue one. So I'm going to click on that. Again, double click on the fill. Go with the blue. And there, now that one's done. And the last one's going to be the black. So I'm going to click on that path. I'm going to double click on the uh, fill. I'm going to go down to black. Oops. Bounced over to white. So I'm going to go down to black. And hit OK. And there we go. So now you can see I've created that eye. The black overlaps the blue. Now, if I had drawn those in the wrong order and the blue is on top, and let me go ahead and do that, you can just right click and go to your range. And again, bring to front, brings it all the way to the very front of every single object. Bring forward, brings it in front of one. Uh, again, send back, will send it all the way to the very back behind everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring that back up. Send backward is gonna bring it or send it rather behind one item. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So we have our eye. Now, I could go through and I could redraw that other eye, but really it's the exact same thing. So I'm gonna click and drag around all of those, select all those together. And if I want, at this point, I could do object and group. And the reason that that's nice is now if I click on that one time, you can see it clicks all of it together. Whereas if I did not group that, I would have to move them all individually. Again, that's not anything that you necessarily have to do, but it is something that's a little bit helpful. So I'm gonna click on that one, and now I'm simply gonna do edit, copy, edit, paste, and I've got a second copy of it. I can actually click and drag that guy right on over. And I was just dragging that from the side and try to make sure that matches up about as close as it possibly can. And we're looking pretty darn good on those. So now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna click on those, both of those together, and I'm just gonna lock those down so that I don't accidentally mess them up later. So again, click on both of them, object, lock, selection. The next thing that I'm gonna do here is going to be the outline of the face itself. So again, I'm gonna turn off the fill color. I'm gonna get my oval, and I'm simply gonna drag that out until it matches up down here at the bottom. And if it doesn't quite match up when you first drag it, that's fine. You can just kind of take uh, the items uh, here from any one of the sides and squish it or stretch it as you need to to make sure that it matches up. But it looks like I've done a fairly decent job. I've also got a few other uh, circles here, or rather ovals, so I'm going to go ahead and create those as long as I'm here. And that one looks pretty good. Uh, because I want this one to look the exact same, I'm going to edit, copy, edit, paste those. The shortcut for that's the same as it is in any program, so Control C, Control V. All right, and now I'm going to get my selection tool, and I'm simply going to drag that guy right on over there. You'll see a little purple line pop up saying that uh, those are called your quick guides or your quick uh, aligned. That's just saying that you've got it aligned up correctly. So I'm good on those. Uh, next one I want to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to make the uh, the little smile here and that's just done with the pen tool so uh, the next thing I guess I would probably want to go ahead and lock this because you can see that if I start to click on that what it's actually going to want to do is it's going to want to click on that anchor point itself and that's not something that I want to do so uh, I'm going to well actually let me show you this so there's two ways I could do this I could click and lock that with the object lock which is what I've shown you to do before, but I'm gonna show you a different way of this. So I'm gonna click on my pen tool and I'm simply gonna go up slightly above that. All right, and I'm doing that because again, with the arrange, I'm gonna put that circle on top of the mouth. So I'm gonna go down to the center here and I'm gonna click and drag that guy all the way out to about there. And now I'm gonna bring it back up to the top. Again, I am going a little bit faster than you will you're going to take a little more time to do this but i'm going to go up to about there then i'm going to click in the center and i'm going to break that anchor i'm going to go back down to the center part here click and drag across this way so that it matches up 
and then I'm going to go back up and complete my shape and I'm going to have to click and drag out this way a little bit. Now, let me go ahead and undo that because I've kind of messed that up. So if I click, I'm just going to click directly on that to close the shape, but I want to show you something. You can see now that that doesn't quite follow the line. So what I want to do is get my direct selection arrow. That's this white arrow up top and I'm just going to click on that handle. And if I start to drag that guy in just a little bit, you'll see that I'm now affecting that uh, edge right there. And that's really what we're trying to do. I'm also going to take this one down here and I'm going to drag it out just a hair um, to help that one out as well. Oh, I went a little too far on that. So I'm going to move that guy back. A lot of what Illustrator and as you saw in Photoshop, a lot of what it's about is really just kind of trial and error until it looks uh, the way that you want it to and matches up the way that you want. So let me move that guy back in a little bit. And there we go. All right, so we've got a couple little uh, dots right here. Those are actually going to be done with um, this little oval tool here. So I'm just going to click and drag that guy out. I'm going to flip those though because I want those to be filled in. All right, so now what I've actually got are two little filled circles. All right, so I'm going to again copy and paste that. I'm simply going to move it on down so that it matches up. And there we go. So now the face is almost done, but I want to show you one thing. Uh, you've actually got a shadow going right down here. And I want to show you how we're going to create that. So I'm going to go ahead and lock everything down here. Because the shadows are really going to be important. So again, I've got all that selected. Object, lock, selection. And now what I want to do is get my pen tool. And I'm going to start uh, really right up here, about on that point, kind of halfway up. I'm going to click there. I'm going to go down to about the center here. I'm going to click and drag that out. Again, I'm trying to follow that line. And you know what? It looks like I don't quite have enough space for that. So I'm going to undo that. Control Z will undo. I'm just going to go to this point right here. All right. So now if I drag that out, that's looking a little bit nicer for me. So I'm trying to follow that original line, which it looks like I'm doing a pretty good job of it now. Uh, I'm going to click over to here. I'm going to go over to this next spot. It looks like it's going to be right around here. So again, trying to follow that all the way through. And I'm going to click there. And now I'm going to go back up to this top part. Again, trying to line up all the way across with the other, which is what it's trying to tell me. I'm going to click and drag up there just a little bit. I'm going to click there in the center to break the anchor. And now I want to click uh, do this shadow down here. Now on this, I can go ahead and I should be able to click in the center and drag it out because for me, it's okay for that shadow to look slightly different, um, but I'm actually following it fairly well. So I'm gonna click and drag out to about there. And now if I go back up to the top here, you can see that I have that complete shape. So now we wanna go ahead and start filling all this in. So the first thing I wanna do is click on that one that I just did, and that's gonna be a darker shadow so I'm going to click on my green. And actually, let me show you this. So I need to unlock everything in order for this to work. So I'm going to do object, unlock all. And what I want to do is uh, I'm going to take the face here. All right, so I've selected that outer face. And if I look over here on the left, I've got this little eyedropper tool. If I click on that, I can now go to the eye and I can click uh, on that and I'll select not only that same fill color, it'll also select that stroke. So I'm gonna click one time and now you can see I've got that eye selected exactly as it is. All right, obviously that's in the way, if you recall, I said that uh, we're gonna use the arrange tool quite a bit on this. So again, I could right click on this or I could go to object, arrange, and I'm gonna send that all the way to the back. So now it's in the back. Next thing I want to do is click on the uh, this little circle up here by the mouth. So I'm going to click on that one. And again, I'm going to use that same eyedropper and I'm going to select that color. But you remember, it's actually going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to double click on my fill now. And in that same range, I'm simply going to find one that looks a little bit lighter, which somewhere around here looks like it'll probably be pretty good. 
So I click on that one. I now go back over to this other one. I can click on that. And you can see that it's actually got that same selection down here. So I could click on that or I could use my eyedropper again. Uh, if I recall correctly, we we're actually supposed to get rid of the stroke um, that was on there. Let me go ahead and go back over to this. Yeah, as you can see, there's no black outline there. So we wanna get rid of that. And actually the same thing up here on the eye. So we're gonna fix that as well while we're thinking about it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that, uh, that one right there. I'm simply gonna go to my stroke. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna go to my stroke, turn that off. I'm gonna click on the blue. Again, turn the stroke. Oh, you see what it did there? It actually took the stroke away from everything. It did that because I have it all grouped together. So in order to fix that, you click on that guy right there, object, ungroup, and now I can click on the blue and I can turn that off. I'm gonna have to do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna click on the object, ungroup, and I'm gonna click on the blue and I'm gonna turn that stroke off. Okay, so we've got our mouth, back to this. We've got our mouth, but our mouth needs to be behind these two circles right here. You can see it sitting on top. So I'm gonna click on the mouth and I'm simply gonna do object, send backward until it's behind both. So now you can see it's behind that one, but not that one. I'm gonna do object, send backward, make sure I'm clicked on it. Object, send backward one more time. And now it's made it behind both. The next thing that we need to do is we need to put that shadow in here. So I'm gonna click on the shadow, which is down here at the bottom. I'm gonna get my eyedropper tool again. I'm gonna click on that green. And this time I wanna make that fill a little bit darker. Uh, I also need to turn the stroke off because again, if you look over here, there's actually no black stroke around that. So I've got my object selected here, which is the shadow. I'm gonna turn that stroke off I'm gonna double click on the fill color and I'm gonna drop that down to a little bit darker color. I'm just gonna hit okay. And there we go. Now we've got that nice shadow kind of going. It looks like the mouth needs to be a little bit bigger too. So I'm gonna click on that. And if you look at the top, you'll see where it says stroke and stroke weight. I'm simply gonna click that up and it looks like, yeah, three looks like it could be okay. I can, I'm actually not gonna drop that back down to two. Two looks a little bit better. So there we go. So now I've got basically the entire face done uh, minus the eyelashes. Um, and in fact, we could go ahead and do the eyelashes real quick because all it is is the pen tool. I'm gonna click in one place. I'm gonna click over to about here and drag it on out. And I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. I'm gonna edit, copy and paste for that. Move that guy up to here. I'm gonna paste it again. Move that guy up to about here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and select all three of those. Copy, paste, turn that this way. Oops, got the wrong item. So make sure you only click on what you need. Now here's the thing, I've got each one of those. If I wanna click on all three of them at once, I can simply hold down the shift key while I click, and I can now click on more than one item. Make really make sure that you're really careful when you're clicking. You see how it goes from a regular arrow, my mouse goes from a regular arrow to that kind of arrow without the extension? That tells me I'm on that object and I'm about to move it. So I click on that guy. We we'll go ahead and move it on up there. And that one's looking pretty good. So now I need to click on all of those. I'm gonna hold shift and click on these three right here. And I want them to be behind absolutely everything. So object, arrange, send to back. There we go. Now it's absolutely behind every single thing. So let's zoom out real quick and look at our progress. So we've got the top half of our frog done. So if I turn off the original layer, you can see what it's looking like. And it's looking pretty darn good at this point. So I'm gonna turn that back on. And the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna start working on everything down here. Now, what I've shown you to this point 
is the exact same thing that we're going to do as we go down here. I'm just going to kind of count the shapes out so that you can see everything. Uh, and then I'm going to let you continue on that. So you have an arm right here. So you're going to do that complete line all the way around through here, all the way back up. You've got a shadow in here that you're going to create. And you're going to do the same thing over here. In fact, you could just copy and paste that guy right on over. Then you've got the body. Okay, then the body's just going to be a big circle right here. It's going to go behind everything else. You've got a shadow down here that you're going to create. Now remember, your shadow can actually come through the arm here a little bit because your arms are going to be on top of it. And then you've got the leg you've got to create. So the leg is going to go up through here all the way down, following that black line all the way around. Again, it can go through this way a little bit because it's going to be behind the body. And then you've got a shadow there, a little bit of shadow there, a couple of straight lines going through here, as well as the same thing over here. Again, you're just going to copy and paste that. Uh, so I'm going to go through this one really, really quickly. You can watch what I'm doing here, uh, but I'm not necessarily going to go through and explain everything in as great of detail. So. Uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, stop the video at this point and work on your own if you'd like. Or if you want to continue watching me go through this, you can certainly do that as well. I'm going to do things slightly differently just to speed up the process, but you'll still get the idea of what it is that I'm trying to do. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by locking all this down because as I speed through this, I don't want to make any mistakes on what I already have going on. So personally here, I'm just going to start on the body. Oops, undo that. I'm going to start on the body, kind of stretch that guy out, make sure that it fits. Looks like it needs to come up this way. And squish it on in here. Squish it on in here. Well, you know what? It doesn't look like that works, so I may end up having to redo that. What if I bring this up? Let's try that. Yeah, that's starting to look a little bit better. Just bring that guy up. There we go. Okay, so now I've got that done. Uh, let's see, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a shadow shape down here. So in order to create a shadow shape, I'm going to, let's say, start somewhere over here. I'm going to really go to about here, and I can probably bring that guy down. Click on that. I'm going to go down to this line here. I'm going to go over to about, let's say, this point right here. Go ahead and drag that down. Looks like that's probably pretty good. Click there and click up. So now I've got my shadow shape. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to do an arm. So in order to do an arm, I'm just going to go ahead and start down here. I'm going to go up to about this point. I'm going to drag that guy out. And again, I'm going really fast. There's going to be some things that you're going to want to kind of fix on your own that I'm not doing. I'm going to break that guy about there. Click and drag that up. Uh, let's see, the arm needs to be in front so I've got to be real careful with how that looks. I'm going to click down to about there. I'm going to make this a smaller curve going right through here. I'm going to bring that to about that point. Oh, kind of messed that up. Undo that. Again, I'm going to bring it to about there. I'm going to start to drag it out. And again, when you're making your curves, you got to be real careful because you don't want to have any extra weird little bumps on there that you don't necessarily need. Um, again, I am going kind of fast on this, so I'm going to have a few more bumps than what you will necessarily have, uh, but you'll also have a significantly larger amount of time to work on this than what I'm doing. I don't want to waste all of your time uh, while you're watching this video, but I did want to provide it for you so that way you can kind of see how to go about this and how to make it look the way that, um, in general, that it needs to look. The pen tool is really one of the most important things in Illustrator. Once you can master the pen tool, um, you really got a great handle on how to use Illustrator and kind of the power of it and what it can do. Okay, so now that's done. Uh, next, I'm going to do the shadow. So I'm just going to click there. I'm going to go to, looks like right about here. You can see this is actually jumping around a little bit. I don't want that to jump. So what I'm going to do is click on uh, do, 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 view. See that snap to point right there? I'm turning that guy off because I'm tired of it snapping to a specific point. Um, I can even zoom in a little bit by holding control, or I'm sorry, alt and my scroll wheel. I showed you that already too. All right, so I'm gonna go up to there. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna probably go to right around here. 
and click on that and go up to the top about here bring it on down to about this point and I'm going to bring it on down to about here so on that line fairly closely break that point right there it looks like there might even be a shadow there that I need to do and I just didn't do it so I may have to go back and redo that later and it looks like there's some down here too so I need to make sure I get those done as well so I'm going to click here I'm going to click here I'm going to drag that guy through click on that go ahead and drag it on down this way and I'm going to break that point again I'm being very very quick on this I do expect that you're going to uh, make sure it looks a little bit nicer than what I'm doing I'm just trying to get this done really quickly so for those of you that are still watching the video have a better idea of what it is that you need to do and exactly how you need to go about uh, doing all this I'm gonna bring that over to there this one right here I'm gonna click there drag it up to about that point I'm gonna click over to here I also recommend highly 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 recommend that you zoom in more than what I'm doing because I am absolutely not zoomed in as much as I should be so I'm gonna click on the leg here I'm gonna go up to about let's say this point right here again that's not exactly where it needs to be uh, but for the purposes of this video and for making it fast enough I think it's gonna be okay so I'm gonna go over to there click and break that I'm gonna go out to about let's say this point right here now these are actually curved out here I'm gonna make them uh, pointed um, but again I would expect that you were you would end up making them curved I'm only doing that in the interest of saving time itself and that's really about it all right now I'm gonna go over to here curve that guy out uh, let's see I'm gonna go to about this point I'm going to curve that I'm gonna bring that around here I'm gonna curve that guy back through there I'm gonna go up to here and now I'm gonna go and actually I can just go straight and I'm gonna go out to about here all right so now I've clicked there I'm gonna click on that guy it really didn't matter though I'm gonna go up to this point and now you can see I can go back to there finish that point out right about there I've got a couple of shadows here we're gonna create those real quick so I'm gonna click there I'm gonna go up let's say to about here and from there I'm going to uh, bring it on over to here I'm gonna follow that point back down to about here and I'm gonna break that point and I'm gonna go to there I've also got a shadow down here so again I'm gonna click right here I'm gonna go over to here and you can see right now I've kind of made a big mess of everything um, that's why a range is so important to understand in uh, in Illustrator think of it similar to how the uh, how layers work in Photoshop um, you can see I've got a few uh, bumps and bruises here and there that we're gonna have to go back and uh, kind of work on but we'll get those taken care of later all right so I've made uh, my handle there I'm gonna or I'm sorry I made my webbing there I'm gonna click on that and copy and paste it all right so I copy paste that guy move it on down let's say to about there I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so that makes a little more sense maybe I've gone a little too far on that there we go that's looking a little better all right so now let's finish that shadow out looks like I got a shadow down here so I'm gonna click there uh, I'm gonna go here click uh, break that point I'm gonna go here and click I'm gonna break that point and it looks like I actually need to uh, come down to this area you know what let me not break that point so I'm gonna undo that and I'm simply gonna go back down to here and click and drag and I think that'll work all right so now I can go back through and try to follow all that around as best I can now again please keep in mind I'm going very very fast um, a lot of these points a lot of these places you're gonna really want to kind of uh, go through and lock them down as you're going through I'm simply going fast so that you can get a real quick idea alright so that's kinda of the down and dirty way of doing this so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this shadow right here I'm going to get my eyedropper. I want it to look like that shadow. I'm going to click on this body right here. I'm going to get my eyedropper. I want it to look like that body. Uh, I am going to now click and drag around both of those because I want both of those to be all the way in the back. So range, send to back. So now those are behind. 
Uh, let's see, I'm going to do the arm next, so I'm going to click on that one right there. I'm going to click on the uh, eyedropper. I'm going to get my body. I'm going to click on the shadows. I'm going to hold shift so I can get all my shadows. So I'm going to click on that one, that, that one there, and I got one right down here. I'm going to get my eyedropper. I'm going to click on that. So now I've got uh, my shadows selected for those. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do the leg this time. So I'm going to click on that leg. I'm going to get my eyedropper. Click on that. I'm going to get my shadows, so one, again, holding shift, and one over here. And I'm going to get my eyedropper for that, get my shadow color. Okay, now all of this right here, and I'm going to hold shift to click on that one too. All that needs to be moved to the back. In fact, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and group that. And now uh, arrange, send to back. Yeah, that's looking pretty good right there. Um, so now we need to make copies of these. I'm going to go ahead and group all the arm stuff together. All right, so it looks like I've got all that. Object, group. Okay, so now I can actually take those two and edit, copy, edit, paste. And I'm going to switch those over here to this side. Try to get those lined up. Pull it on over this way. And you can see that it's starting to line up. Now, is this perfect? Absolutely not. Um, is yours going to be perfect? Probably not, but it should look better than what I've got right here. You want to try to make sure that things line up uh, as nicely as they possibly can. Um, all I'm doing there, by the way, is I'm clicking on each one of those individually. And uh, I am moving them forward and backward with the arrows. Or I'm sorry, up and down with the arrows on the keyboard. Uh, I need to move that guy all the way to the back, so I'm going to arrange, send the back for that guy right there. So again, in general, that's what it's going to end up looking like. Um, at this point now, what you can do is you can get your direct selection arrow, that little uh, white arrow. You can zoom in on these points, and you can say, oh man, I've got a real issue here, so I need to take that one, click on that one point, and try to go ahead and bring it on up uh, so that it works the way that we want it to work. Um, remember that point right there, if we wanted to have, uh, this is probably a better one, if I click on that point right there, I can convert it over to this uh, uh, smooth point. Okay, and now I can click and I can drag that guy right on up here. Okay, um, and then I'll have to do the same thing down here at the bottom because you can see that it's actually taking that, uh, it's taking that anchor out. So I'm gonna click on that and start to drag it on down this way just a little bit that's generally what you're doing it's just a lot of tweaking going on you can see this right here actually needs to behind those two so i'm going to get the webbing here and click on each of those all right so one let me zoom in here all right so i'm going to click one and oh i've got it grouped i forgot object ungroup so one two object arrange bring to front so in reality, I would probably spend another, personally, another 30 minutes to an hour trying to tweak all of this. You're probably going to spend quite a bit longer, um, but it's just a good kind of starting point so that you can see how to go about doing everything. Make sure you get everything lined up. Don't forget that once it's drawn out, you want to get that direct selection arrow and just go through and make sure that everything matches up the way that it needs to match up so that it looks good.